Welcome to another episode of Wok and Cook. Hello friends hope you are having a fine day, today we will prepare coastal dish called Dry Bombil Chutney. This cuisine is a popular dish of coastal tribe, the Collies of Maharashtra. This preparation can last long which makes it an excellent companion for long distance travel. Cut off the head, tail and fins with a knife or scissors. Getting all ingredients ready in the first place helps to reduce your efforts during the cooking. Onions and tomatoes are optional and should not be used if the preparation is to be stored or carried along in long distance travel. Place the dressed fish over a wire mesh and put on the gas flame. Burn both sides lightly, this will remove the hairy growths from their bodies. The charring can also be done directly over the flame, I find it more convenient. Remove from the flame and allow it to cool, once cooled use a sawtooth blade or a scrapper to remove the carbon. Wash the roasted fish thoroughly in water, squeeze out the water, cut the fishes into small pieces of about an inch long. Grind the cut fish pieces in a mixer grinder to obtain coarse powder. Gather the herbs in a grinding jar, add fresh coriander, garlic pods, few pieces of ginger and green chilies, grind the herbs, it is not necessary to make paste of the herbs. Mix the fish powder with salt, turmeric powder, agri masala powder and the previously ground herbs, in a bowl, let it stand for 10 to 15 minutes. Heat oil in a pan, saute the finely chopped onions, add curry leaves to the onions and cook, when the onions turns translucent add the marinated bombil and mix well, cook on low flame. If you're preparing wet chutney, use tomatoes and onions, add water and cook covered over low flame. The bombil chutney is ready to serve. Thanks for watching.